Namaste and welcome. We are back here with the interview video of Professor Marcus Sotoy from Oxford University. Listen in carefully to him where he mentions the fact that all of calculus, geometry, trigonometry, zero and other things were found promptly in Bharat which are now being discovered and established as well along with facts that includes the documentation and carbon dating of those documents. Kindly be especially attentive where he mentions the fact that all these things were found in Bharat long before they were found by their western counterparts. The invention of zero for me is one of the most important moments in the history of mathematics. Um, this is a moment where suddenly a very abstract idea, a, a symbol for the concept of nothing. I mean, why do you need to count nothing? But this really kick-started some extraordinary mathematics, things like the calculus. Even our digital age is dependent on things like ones and zeros. We so take the idea of zero for granted in our, in our modern age, but where did this number first appear? Well, amazingly, mathematics was really vibrant uh, in the Indian subcontinent, and we find zero being talked about for the first time there. And why this manuscript, the Bakshali manuscript, is so important is this seems to be the first place that we see this idea of zero beginning to be born. The Bakshali manuscript is actually quite a complicated document because it isn't just one piece of mathematics, it's many pieces written over, it appears now, quite a few centuries. Um, and it seems to be a document helping, helping merchants to do mathematical calculations. So there are lots of examples and lots of numbers. And this is where we see the zero because in some of these numbers we see a dot. This is a dot saying there is nothing here. Um, and so this dot is the one that will eventually open up to be the zero that we use today. I've been fascinated for years trying to find the first example of a written zero. And I went out to India and found a zero carved on the side of a temple, which dates to the 9th century. Um, but this Bakshali manuscript, the challenge was, is this earlier? And for years, we just haven't known because, uh, well, the Bodleian Library didn't want to burn a bit to do some carbon dating. But I, I pressed them and said, I would love to know what the date is. So they've now done a carbon dating. And I think everyone was truly shocked to find out that actually this is so much earlier than anyone thought. This dates to the third, fourth century. I think many people are aware that our modern technology depends so much on mathematics, but what I think is often missed is that mathematics has a history. It's come from somewhere. It comes from people coming up with new ideas. And in this document, we see one of the most important new ideas created in mathematics. Now we understand from the third, fourth century. When I started to dig into the history of my subject, I was really surprised to discover how much mathematics was going on in the East, and in particular, the Indian subcontinent. I mean, we have the creation of zero, but that's not all. Um, there are very early signs of the calculus being done way before Newton and Leibniz were doing it. And it goes on today. Um, India is one of the powerhouses um, of the mathematical world uh, in the 21st century too. I hope you liked and enjoyed our video. Do subscribe to get more such content in the future.